Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 Journeyman Save. This is episode 16, I believe, and uh, season finale. A lot going on the line, but you can see our form has been kind of spotty. Six draws and then the loss uh, down the stretch here. And we're finishing up with Inverness, who we drew nil-nil with last time, and St Stenhouse Mir, who we drew nil-nil with last time as well. Uh, Airdronians, we beat 3-0 last time out uh, prior to last match, but then we just lost to them 1-0 on camera. So, let's take a look at what's on the line here. We're in second position. We are two points behind Forfar, and we have let it slip away. We have let it slip away. We've, we've guaranteed ourselves a playoff spot, but... <laughs> You know, as a Leeds fan, I know exactly what going into the playoffs means. It means jack squat, <laughs> right? It just means absolutely nothing. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, we are favored today at home. So we're going to go with our home tactic. How far apart are these games a week? So that's good. So we can play our starting 11. Uh, Krasnicki. I was uh, criticized in a recent episode for pulling Krasnicki off on a hat trick. Um, I have no recollection of this. I, I just, I don't, I mean, yeah, I get it, but at the same token, I'm looking long term. He's my best player. I'm not pulling him off just because. I'm pulling him off because he's tired and I need to keep him on the field. So if I can save 10 minutes or 15 minutes in a blowout and play somebody else and have him healthy for the last two games of the season, I'm going to do that rather than leave him in to maybe get a hat trick in one game and you know then have him just be really tired or possibly injured from being tired in a match and then having to miss, you know, eight weeks something like that that's kind of my thought process and I, I kind of I know what you're saying and I know that's a big thing in in football but you know we have kind of the same thing in American baseball well in baseball where you don't take a pitcher out on a no hitter and for years for decades it that was kind of the prevailing philosophy and recent years probably the last five to ten years there's been a shift away from that about you know we have to look out for this guy's health and the long-term availability because he's very important and we need him pitching in you know more than just today's game so you know if i did take him off on a hat trick i apologize i can't promise that it won't happen again because i'm i'm strictly looking you know not strictly but i'm looking at at his 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 fatigue factor um was he injured is he on a knock you know are we risking injury to this guy you know so that's i didn't go back and rewatch the episode to see exactly what happened but um anyway uh <clears throat> but i feel like i've arrived because that was like you know now that i'm starting to get some comments like that it's like okay people are taking this a little seriously and you know so uh, anyway, thanks for the comment. I just, you know, but I wanted to explain and, you know, there may not be a good explanation for that, but so be it. All right. Uh, so, man, do I go with Monroe or do I go with McGregor? No, not McGregor, MacArthur. I think I have to go with Monroe. He's 18. He's under contract for another year. Now, MacArthur's contract is up at the end of, well, he's up at the end of next year. I offered him and him and Ray Devaney, I offered, I went to offer both of them contract extensions and both of them rejected me. I wouldn't even enter into negotiation because they wanted um, assurances of more playing time. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll, Ray Devaney's played in 26 matches, right? I don't know what he wants. And MacArthur has been in 27 matches. Monroe's got four goals in 22 starts, though. We need to get him scoring. Because MacArthur's got eight in 11 starts. Maybe I do do that. Monroe's on the bench if we need him. 
but he he's got to prove himself. He really needs to score and and get going in a positive direction. Some big matches. I don't know if we have a chance to catch four far or not now. All right, Krasnicki into the box. There's a header, and it was flubbed, but McKenzie is called off sides. That's bullshit. All right. Come on, SI. I know I'm not the only one complaining about offsides calls here. I guess they've made the game as realistic as possible because offsides through VAR has been a huge issue. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Get creative. I know that offsides calls have been a huge issue this last season. Just people complaining all the time. So maybe that's what they were going for. MacArthur's taken down in the box. There's going to be a penalty. And it's going to be Jones, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh, right in the corner. Brilliant placement. Brian Jones, his 21st of the season. He was a good pickup. I really feel bad for MacArthur because he seems to score a lot. I mean, he scored a ton last year, and we couldn't figure out why. I mean, he's not that great. I mean, he's a two-star player. You know, and... Into the box. Back door! Oh, Baxter, how did you not get that one? Oh. Well, some real life news. So I have been on uh, home quarantine uh, for five weeks and, uh, you know, gladly so. I mean, you know, you do go a little stir crazy being home all the time. But luckily, I've got my, my YouTube channel videos to keep me occupied, unlike a lot of people. Dingwall, I think that counted to nothing. So we had a conference call yesterday with my job. And uh, they announced uh, that we are going back to work on Monday. Back, uh, I mean, we've been working. We've been working from home. We've been making phone calls, taking phone calls. Um, I'm in sales. So, you know, we're able to take, oh, there's a nice ball, Jones. And that was a poor finish. Not good. Not good at all. Are we in the, I don't remember, did we cover the second? Did we go to halftime? Did I just miss halftime? Uh, push forward. All right, Jones. Uh, but anyway, oh, taken down. That's going to be a goal opportunity. Krasnicki should take the set piece. So, um, yeah, anyway, but still, things are, you know, still kind of crazy out there. But they have told us that we're going to go back to work uh, effective Monday. Come on, Krasnick. A. Hey. Oh, it right into the wall. That was horrible. But um, so a little, little freaked out by about going back out. To be fair. All right, let's uh, pull off Sainsbury. We'll move Ali Smith out there. McGregor can go back in the center. Let's give Brian a rest. We'll bring Monroe in, and then. I'm going to move MacArthur to that left side. Oh, maybe he already was on the left side. Did I just screw that up? Yes, I did. All right, let's do that. <laughs> I do want him on the left side. So uh, anyway, yeah, so a little nervous about going back out and, you know, dealing with everything. Oh, no, no. What a save by Johnston. Sets up a corner. But of course, by not being home all day, that's going to cut into my into my time, which uh, you guys shouldn't see too much of an effect. It'll just be one of those things where more of my free time will be tied up in doing videos because, you know, I'm doing this series daily, Monday through Saturday. Let's do a time waster here. Uh, Krasnicki, let's get Ray Devaney on. And let's uh, show some passion here down the stretch. 
but the uh, you know because my wife's a teacher they've they've closed schools for the rest of the school year and so they're not going to be back until august september for her well august in uh going back to campuses and so yeah so you know it is what it is but you know now i'm going out and risking bringing stuff back home you know so don't know how i feel about that you know from a you know professional standpoint but it is what it is well brora has confirmed the last playoff space airdrionians is going to be in the playoff relegation race and queen of the south is definitely well they've been going down for a while four far won their match after four draws on the bounce so we don't make up any ground as we head into the last match of the season McKenzie played well, 11 key passes, so we'll praise his passing. And we'll be back for the next match in just a second. Well, possibly a consortium takeover. That would be interesting. We have turned professional. We are looking strong for the second year in a row. Interesting. All right, we are the road team. We are slight underdogs, which is a little odd but that's okay we're gonna go with our away tactic all right we're gonna put uh we're gonna go with monroe i'm gonna let him start krasnicki so basically you know our, our regular everyday starting 11 so we need to win and we need four far to lose for us to win the title if we draw even a loss we can't make it up and everybody else seems good. I gave a little bit of green talk to, to the defense. They didn't react great. I'm going to praise them early. All right, we are in the yellow. Need to double check what our, our color setting. Jones! Yeah, he was off sides. Come on. Jones was on sides. Baxter may have been off sides when the ball was played from the throw in. Uh, oh. All right, let's show some creativity. Fire him up a little bit. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. He's down to the wire play, you know, pushes, man. Because I'd certainly rather go up automatic than have to deal with promote, you know, playoffs and stuff. Oh, God. Monroe doing a lot of pressure in there. Baxter. And we've got a foul in the box. Aiden nudges Allie Smith. And it's going to be Jones lining up number nine for the penalty. Oh, and he goes opposite post this time. He went right post last game, left post this time. And we're up by one. Seven to one on shots. All right, we're going to come out with the praise. Come on, boys. They're playing a 4 4 1 1. All right, Sainsbury. Baxter lays it off to Robertson. McKenzie. They're looking for a breakdown. All right, Baxter finds an edge. Oh, it's headed down, and Jones puts it in for his 23rd of the season. 2-0 advantage. We're going to have to get to the locker room, and of course, you know, like any good player, we're going to be checking the scoreboard. Four fars up, 2-0. It's not going to matter. Inverness not getting it done. Uh, all right, we do appreciate the efforts. Play it calm. Come on, boys. 
All right, Robertson plays it back to McKenzie. Oh, Macau was McKen. No, that's bullshit. I don't care if these guys are offsides. They're not even involved in the play. He wasn't blocking the keeper's vision. No, that's a horrible call. That's a horrible call. Uh. All right, let's go ahead and pull Baxter off. We'll play Ray Devaney on that left side, give him some, some extra match time here. And... See, this is where I would say I want to pull Jones off to give him some extra rest for the playoffs. But you guys get mad, so I can't do that. All right, well, let's rest. I'm going to go ahead and put, let's do Smith to the right. And then we'll bring McGregor on in the center. Give our left back some extra rest there. All right, we're going to drop some more praise on them. Right, we've dominated this game 16 to 3. 10 shots on target. I'd like to have three or four goals, but. A nice little header. Oh, he plays it over Monroe. Oh, first touch brilliance. And Monroe slots it home, his fifth of the season. And boy, it would be nice for him to start getting hot right about now with some playoff matches in our near future. Uh, we can skip that. That was a nice play forward. All right, let's uh, Robertson for Wallace. We'll go ahead and do that. See, Jones is tired. I would pull him off even on two goals just to make sure he was well rested for the next match, but... I'm not gonna, so if something bad happens, I'm blaming it on you. Krasnicki. Oh, the header, Callum Monroe, his second goal in just a couple of minutes. A different player this half is what the press box is reporting. That was a nice ball. Look, there's Monroe there. He's the one that made the cross to Krasnicki. Beautiful ball. And then made the run to the spot and just powered a header in past the keeper. Nice job. All right. We will take that. Brora actually wins. In I was hoping Inverness would, would challenge them, but it didn't happen. Did not happen. Ugh. All right. We do appreciate the efforts. Forfar ended up winning 4-0, as did we, but, you know, we played a six-position team. They played a fourth-position team who's in bad form. Three losses on the bounce. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, I guess. All right, so Forfar clinches. Jones is stellar with two goals and an assist. We pick up 250. 50, 249,000 for finishing in second position. So financially, well, that'll put us back up to about $250,000. So well below. We're going to probably have to carve out some more money for next year, even if it means we're not as competitive, I think. Oh, boy. All right, so we, we draw against Brora. So let's take a look here. So Brora finishes behind us. Inverness. I am guessing Inverness is going to be playing the team coming down from the higher level. Yeah, from the championship. Okay, so we do get the harder team initially, but they've got the much harder team, allegedly, to get past the first round. And then, yeah, you should have to get past the team from the level above you, you know, if you're if you're playing in a playoff like that. Well, that'll be next episode. So we'll come back for the two legs against Brora. So I will get to that and record that here in mere minutes. But you guys will see that tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And let me know what you think of the new uh, the new intro videos and the new logo and everything else. I know I've had it out there now for about a week, but um, you know, 
spent a little bit, spent about a hundred bucks to, to help the channel and uh, help you, you know, in, you know, entice you guys. So let me know what you think about the intro videos, the little stinger cuts between, uh, between matches and, uh, you know, even the outro video, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it all the way through, watch the whole video guys, help me out here a little bit, but, uh, Hey, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.